What's going on, fam? It's the entertainer, motivator, educator, Lucky Murray, back with another Game Cart News update. Today, we're speaking about Shane Beamer and the importance of promoting his program, the South Carolina program. Uh, you don't want to miss it, man. Uh, before I go any further, here's what I need you to do, man. Join the Patreon. Yes, exclusive content will come for the Patreon, so go to patreon.com forward slash Lucky Murray. The link will be in the description below. If you can't do that, buy the merch. Got some, some exclusive merch dropping next month. You don't want to miss that, so stay tuned. If you can't do that, like the video, subscribe to the channel, for notification bell. They're like, every time I drop a video, three, share the video, helps out of time. So the Gamecocks Nation is really doing well. I did a live a few days ago. Uh, Gigi Jackson is a South Carolina Gamecocks. Shout out to him on that. Also, uh, the football team is on the up and up. So things are really starting to change at Columbia University of South Carolina. So, I want to read an article that uh, I think Greenville News, I think the state, somebody did. <laughs> we'll talk a little about that and why I think that that is going to help South Carolina take that next step to the next level. So, as you go right here, man, I'm not going to hold you too much. It says, Bima talks the importance of promoting his program. Oh, the Big Spur, of course. Since ever since South Carolina head coach Shane Bima took over the job following the 2020 season, it was evident that he would play a pivotal part in promoting his program. Prior to heading to Atlanta for SEC Media Days on Tuesday, Gamecock Football dropped a video on Twitter of Beamer singing excuse me, Soldier Boy, which ended up going viral. Yes, it did. Beamer and the Gamecocks also recreated the Full House opening, which as a result, in a lot of people talking about South Carolina football. In Atlanta on Tuesday, Beamer joined Barrett Sally on SBS, not SBS, CBS, God, I can't read, Sports HQ, to discuss why he feels it is so important to promote his program the way he does. We have to be able to, in today's time, be able to showcase your program in different ways, Beamer said. Let's face it, we are not a traditional powerhouse that has won multiple national championships. They can just do things the way they have always been done in a lot of ways. We have to think outside the box. We have to continue to find ways to promote our program and the people in our program and what we are doing. We work really hard, don't get me wrong, but we have to have a lot of fun in this program as well. I know that's not what it said, but I had to keep going because this is live. I know it's not live. Do not judge me on this one, people. Let's go back to it because I know you're judging me about my read, okay? It's hard to read and, you know, you got people watching me. Oh, my God, please help me. Anyway, before I was rudely interrupted by some people, probably not you because you're nice. What does that mean as I'm watching the TBT? <laughs> I believe that that is the way that you have to really get your program to the next level. By the way, of social media, you know, because a lot of programs don't have that social media game on lock. It is amazing to think that a program would not, could not have the social media game. But a lot of these football programs they're winning in multiple ways. You know, Alabama don't have to have the social media game locked. I'm not saying they don't have video coordinates. not saying that they don't have videos out. But the uniqueness of South Carolina, how they do things on viral moments, makes players want to be a part of that situation, that program. So this is why I follow the South Carolina Gamecocks. But I also think like this, guys. I believe in my mind that South Carolina in the next couple of years will be in the national playoff contention and from a guy born and raised at columbia south carolina i want us to be not only national playoff contention but also national champions man it'd be so great the south carolina can win a national championship if clemson can do it south carolina can do it i know you're like when well, clemson blah, blah, blah. shut up it doesn't matter what you think but i i mean i'm excited to see the fall man i just can't wait but here's what i need you to do people because you are the focus. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Do you think it's a good idea for Shane Beamer to really promote his program? Do you think it's working? And also, if you love this video, man, go watch this video here. Subscribe right there. You know what the deal. But once again, it's an entertainer, motivator, educator. And please, don't forget all three. Lucky Murray back with another Game Caught News update. Today, we're speaking about Shane Beamer and all that good stuff. How you promote the program. You let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. But like always, it's the next time, people.